Hello, pilots. In the previous episode, we told you about aircraft flights, how they are created, their main advantages, and about flight tiers and setups. This time, we'll talk about strategies and tactical options of team play. From the start of the battle, a flight should not scatter, otherwise its performance will drop significantly. Aircraft in the flight should stay as close as possible, both vertically and horizontally. In case your flight fights in the same altitude range, it is important for everyone to gain the same altitude. Enable the Attitude Indicator in the Settings menu. It will show you the angle you're climbing at. The optimal climb angle for piston-engined fighters is 30 degrees and 50 degrees for jet-powered fighters. Sooner or later, you will meet enemy flights in the sky. The outcome of the battle will depend on your choice of strategy. There are three main strategies. Let's have a closer look at each of them. The first strategy can be called Territory Control. If the aircraft and a flight work well together, and the players are skilled enough to single-handedly destroy groups of enemies, then each member can work separately and let each other eliminate enemy aircraft on their own. If such a strategy works out, the battle will end almost immediately, sometimes with more than half of enemy planes destroyed by the flight. This can happen on low tiers, where the opposing team has no flights or few skillful players. If the enemy team is using this strategy against your flight, the best option for your flight would be to wait for the right moment to attack. You should quickly destroy enemy aircraft one by one, leaving no time for other enemy aircraft to come to the rescue. If your target flees, it is likely that you are being lured into a group of enemy aircraft. Chasing a fleeing target can take you too far away from your flight, so do not fall for this trick. The second strategy can be called common effort and competition. Each flight member stays close, but they all engage separate targets. In the case of danger, the flight starts playing as a unit. This strategy allows the flight to momentarily respond to threats because each pilot always stays close. Such a technique allows for gaining local superiority quickly. The third strategy is called Common Efforts and Cooperation. This is the signature technique of a flight. In case of danger, the pilots react immediately and destroy enemy aircraft together. They don't chase anyone they see. Instead, the pilots systematically hunt down the most dangerous targets, focusing fire and eliminating them together. Such a strategy provides a great advantage for the team and makes it easier for your allies to battle. If your flight meets such an organized group of enemies and there are no losses on either side in the first 30 seconds of the encounter, it is best to retreat closer to a group of allies or AA guns. You can choose any of these strategies or combination thereof for the battle depending on what tactics you use. The main concept of a flight is gaining local superiority. The flight attacks targets either on its own or with allies, focusing fire on each enemy aircraft one by one. If you gain local superiority in multiple parts of the map during the battle, it will be much easier to destroy the enemy. If you need to lure and destroy a particularly agile or dangerous enemy aircraft, you can play a sitting duck. One player exposes himself until the enemy starts chasing him and then performs various defensive maneuvers. The duck should fly in such a way so that the allies can easily shoot at its pursuer. The best maneuvers here would be extending in a straight line and pulling to the vertical with a series of quick maneuvers. Be sure to warn your flight members about those maneuvers beforehand. It is crucial for any player, especially a member of a flight, to know and be able to perform different aerobatic maneuvers. The first stunts to learn should be defensive ones. Without them, you'll become an easy target to hit and shoot down. The barrel roll is an important stunt, as well as a loaded roll. Check your control settings and make sure you have roll buttons assigned. For example, press the right roll button and slowly circle your mouse clockwise. Hold one of the roll buttons and slowly move your mouse into the rolling direction. Such a maneuver allows you to drag an enemy after you while other pilots from your flight, either ahead of you or behind, shoot the pursuer down. This maneuver is effective in the case of a frontal attack when you're being aimed at. To perform an even more effective maneuver, use the extended flaps and boost. Play more, play bravely, and don't be afraid to experiment with different aircraft, tactics, and strategies. Even when you lose, you still learn from the experience, which makes you stronger. That's all for now. Good luck in battle.